Hi, so let us today have a look at what is Kohlberg's theory of moral development. Now, Lawrence Kohlberg was in University of Chicago when he studied Piaget's theory of moral development. Now, what he realized that it is very difficult to understand how the mind develops. So, what he did is he classified the moral development in six different stages or you can say three different levels. Okay, so you can have a look at these levels. These were the three different levels and the first one was observed in the preschool, the second was during the elementary school, last one was during the college. Okay, so these are three different levels where the moral development of a student takes place. Okay, now we will have a look at them one by one. So, at level 1 which occurs usually at preschool, there are two different stages, stage 1 and stage 2. In stage 1, uh, the mind of a children is diverted completely by their parents and teachers. Okay? There are certain rules and regulations to be followed by the students and they do exactly that. They think if they don't follow the rules, what is going to happen, they are going to get punishments. So, what they actually do is, they just try to follow the rules, they don't think about the others and they avoid punishment. Okay? That is what they do in the stage 1. Now, once the mind develops, we can move on to stage 2. Now, stage 2 is that time that they realize that the others also have certain needs. It is not just them having needs. The others also have needs and they can also be satisfied. So, what they do is, they seek mutual cooperation. For example, uh, a student says to another student, you do my maths homework, I will do your English homework. Okay? That is the way they, it works. They will satisfy their own needs and if possible, they will help others as well. Okay? So, that is what happens in stage 2. Once you have done with the level 1, now comes the level 2. There are two more stages, stage 3 and stage 4. Okay? This is actually where the mind evolves. Okay? Now, the mind starts thinking that it is not just the individual has needs, that the authority figures have actually expectations from them. So, what they try to do, without authority figures means the teachers or the parents, the people who have influence on them. Okay? They think that they expect something from them and that is what they try to do. They try to fulfill their expectations. Okay? So, the students actually realize that it is very essential for themselves to satisfy the needs of their authority figures. Okay? So, in the next stage, they actually realize that it is not just the individual which has needs. It is the complete society which had certain requirements. All the people are surrounding them, those people who they know, those people who they don't know, everyone has needs. And that is when they realize the rules are very essential for the society to run smoothly. And that is why they should follow the rules. And they also believe that the rules are inflexible. They cannot be modified. Okay? This is where the most of the development of most of the people stops. Okay? Now, then comes the level 3. Now, level 3 is observed after the junior college. Okay? More in most of the people. But... Very few amount of people are able to get through stage 5 and 6. Now, what actually happens in them? In stage 5, they actually think that the society, the requirements of the society can be fulfilled only if there are certain modifications in rule. Okay? They realize that the rules are not inflexible. They can be modified according to the needs of the people. They realize that the rules are meant for the society and not the society for the rules. So, this is where most of the people fail to reach. This level is where the most of the people fail to reach. Okay? And there is one more stage, stage 6, where actually that is called as hypothetical level. Very, very, very rare people reach here. Okay? What happens in this level is, they actually develop universal principles such as equality, then we have commitment to others, justice, such universal principles are developed even more and they are willing to disobey the rules if their principles are being violated. The principles which they think, if certain rules violate the equality of the people, they don't follow the rule and they pursue others not to follow the rule. Okay? So, these are the six different stages of development. 
most of the people just reach to level 2 they are not able to reach till level 3 and if some people reach level 3 as well there are very few people which reach the stage 6 okay so this was a theory of moral development given by Kohlbergs. It is not necessary that the moral development of any student occurs at the exactly prescribed level. For some students, the moral development occurs quickly across the stages. For some, it may take more time as well. Some students may reach level 5 at the age of 15 or some students may not be able to reach even level 4 at the age of 50 as well.